is that y'all have sent out releases and emails and you want everybody to be able to watch. And it just doesn't seem to me that that's in our nation's interest, uh, nor is it candidly uh, in the interest of those who want to see good policy on the conservative side come out of this CR. I just wondered if you might respond to that. Madam President. Madam President. The Senator from Texas. Since the Senator from Tennessee has made reference to me, I would ask for unanimous consent that I might engage in a colloquy with the senator from Tennessee and the senator from Utah. Is there objection? Without objection. Madam Is there objection? We need time. If there's a reasonable time, I'd be happy to do it, but there's not going to be another performance by anybody here this afternoon. For how long do the senators wish to engage in a colloquy? I, I cannot imagine it would extend beyond 10 minutes. Is there objection to the no. request? No. Without objection. Madam President, I appreciate the Senator from Tennessee's comments supporting the Majority Leader. And I know the Senator from supporting Tennessee... Supporting the House of Representatives. I know the Senator from Tennessee is, is learned on, on Senate procedures, so that I know that he, he must have made a misstatement when he moments ago suggested that those of us who participated uh, in... in the filibuster the other night, day somehow changed our position in voting for the motion to proceed. And the reason I know the senator from Tennessee is mistaken uh, is because during the course of that filibuster, I explicitly stated I support the motion to proceed. I stated that a week before the filibuster repeatedly. I have always stated that the vote on the motion to proceed, the vote on cloture to motion to proceed, was going to be unanimous. Indeed, I would note that I offered a unanimous consent during that filibuster, that we vitiate the cloture and all agree to proceed because everyone in this chamber, I said, I expect the vote will be unanimous. Everyone in this chamber wants to proceed to this bill. Now, the senator from Tennessee, being learned in Senate procedure, knows that there's a big difference between that vote on Wednesday, which I might note when the vote tally was down there for Republicans. I put my, re not only did I vote yes early, but I put my recommendation to, for every Republican to vote yes. Because, of course, we should get on the bill. The vote tomorrow on cloture on the bill is a very different bill. And I know the senator from Tennessee is quite, quite aware of that. The vote tomorrow is a vote to cut off debate on the, on the bill. And so, as I said during the filibuster two days ago, as I said, have said for weeks, it is the vote tomorrow, cloture on the bill, that matters because anyone voting tomorrow in favor of cloture is voting in favor of granting the majority leader the ability to fund Obamacare. And I know my friend from Tennessee understands that, so I'm sure his statement suggesting that the vote on the motion to proceed meant anything other than what it obviously meant, I know that was a statement in error. Well, um, actually, I appreciate this opportunity. Uh, what we have before us is a bill that defunds Obamacare. It's the bill that the House has sent over, so you're right. Tomorrow's vote is a vote to end debate in support of exactly what the House of Representatives has sent over. That is a confusing thing to a lot of folks, but you're exactly right. Uh, the House has put over here, sent over here, policy that I actually support, and that is the funding, the health care bill, because of the damage that it's creating to our country. Uh, I wish the CR number was a little lower. I wish it was at 967 instead of 988, but that's exactly right. And um, so we're going to be cutting off debate on a bill that the House Republicans have sent over to us. So um, you're exactly right, and uh, that's an important vote. And that is a vote in support of the House, something in addition Supporting the House would be getting whatever we're going to do back over to them so that they are not jammed. But it's my understanding, again, relative to this vote tonight, happening tomorrow instead, is that my two colleagues, who I respect, have sent out emails around the world and turned this into a show, possibly, and therefore they want people around the world to watch maybe them and others on the Senate floor, and that is taking priority 
over getting legislation back to the House so they could take action before the country's government shuts down, and by the way, causing them possibly to put in place again some other good policies. I, I yield. I appreciate my, my friend from Tennessee's comments. Uh, and I would note that, that he suggested that this is confusion, confusing, and, and, and I guess I don't think it's, it's all that confusing. The senator from Tennessee says that a vote in favor of cloture is a vote in favor of the House bill and in favor of defunding Obamacare. If that's the case, then the question I would pose to my friend from Tennessee, why is Majority Leader Harry Reid going to vote the same way you're proposing to vote? Why is every Democrat in this chamber going to vote the way you're proposing to vote? If this is a vote in favor of defunding Obamacare, is it the senator from Tennessee's suggestion that the majority leader and the Senate Democrats are confused about this vote? Well, I would respond that after a 21-hour filibuster yesterday, you voted in favor of the thing you're filibustering, and Senator Harry Reid joined you in that, too. So it seems to me that they're very similar. Does the senator from Tennessee dispute that the vote Wednesday was a vote to take up the bill, whereas the vote tomorrow will be a vote that will do two things if there are 60 votes, if enough Republicans cross the aisle, join Majority Leader Harry Reid and the Democrats. It will, number one, cut off all debate, and it will, number two, what makes the vote tomorrow so significant is the Majority Leader has already filed an amendment. That amendment guts the House continuing resolution and funds Obamacare in its entirety. And given that that amendment is pending, and if cloture is invoked, that amendment can be passed with 51 votes, does the senator from Tennessee disagree that once cloture is invoked, Harry Reid, the majority leader, will be able to fund Obamacare with 51 votes? I agree that the Senate rule that's in place that allows post-cloture uh, votes at uh, a 51 vote majority have, has been there for decades and generations and it's the same same rule that we have operated under for decades so let me just ask this question so we have a bill before us that I support I think the senator from Texas supports the senator from Utah supports I think so my question is we have a bill that we support the rules of the Senate have been here for decades, for generations, and for centuries in many cases. So are you thinking the House of Representatives would like for us to vote against cloture on their bill? Well, I thank my friend. Well, let, let me ask you this. And if, if you think that's what they wish for us to do, why is it that they're already developing language and legislation to send back over? It seems to me that they've already indicated that they view this strategy as a box canyon because they understand the Senate rules. And it looks as if, to me, they're already developing language to send something back over because even though we're in the Senate, and I know all three of us are relatively new, somehow or another, they knew the Senate rules before they sent it over. So I'm a little confused. And, and tell me what happens if the Senate were not to invoke cloture on a bill that we support what then happens? I'd like to understand. Well, I, I appreciate that question from my friend from Tennessee, and, and there are several pieces of it. One, he asked, would the House Republicans like for us not to invoke cloture? I can tell you this morning I spoke to over a dozen House members who explicitly said it would be fantastic if Senate Republicans could show the same unity we did and vote against cloture because Majority Leader Reid has filed an amendment to gut our language. I would note also, uh, the senator from Tennessee keeps expressing confusion. I have to admit, I, I don't think the American people are confused. And I would ask the senator from Tennessee, you agreed a moment ago, if I understood you correctly, that if 60 senators vote in favor of cloture, Majority Leader Harry Reid will be able to fund Obamacare in its entirety. Let me ask the counterpart. If 41 Republicans stood together and voted against cloture because we said we do not support the amendment that Majority Leader Reid has filed to fund Obamacare, when we told our constituents we oppose Obamacare, we meant it. Yeah. So we are not going to be complicit in giving Harry Reid the ability to fund Obamacare. 
Would Majority Leader Harry Reid be able to proceed and fund Obamacare if 41 Republicans stood together against cloture? Well, but the thing is, I think the senator from...